Tuna on the weekend, Marcus. Hey, happy birthday, too. Thanks. How old are you now? 21. Yeah. <laughs> 24. 24, okay. Uh, two and all on the weekend. You know, you, you battle hard, two hard fought wins. Yeah. But uh, you still showed you can do it, man. You, you know, you scored on offense. It wasn't like old man trickery or anything. Yeah. But uh, that last one towards the end looked like the guy was getting after your joints a little bit. Yeah. Okay, and that's not so good for you because you, you got the, the, you know, the grind kind of almost hurts you a little bit at this point, you know, after the surgeries and everything you've gone through. But what's the mentality, you know, on a weekend like this? Um, you know, a win's a win. I'm glad I got two wins, but uh, I'm just looking forward to February because we've been grinding pretty hard all January. It's really been taking a toll on my body. and I'm, My cardio feels good now, and uh, I'm hoping my body will catch up, uh, you know, so I can peak at the right time for conferences. So I'm really looking forward to competing in February. All right, uh, 174, we talked earlier, and you said the guys didn't feel that much bigger. Okay, you wrestled a 65-pounder to today, mm -hmm. and then uh, yesterday you beat a you know, legit guy who was a 74-pounder, but how is that feeling? Are the guys feeling big, small? What's it uh, feel like? Lately, they've been feeling bigger. I think that's just because we've been, you know, the January grind. I'm, my weight's a little bit lighter, too, so I'm thinking this month I need to really hit the weight room hard. And get, you know, at the beginning of the year, I felt fine. Lately, I've been feeling a little bit bigger, a little bit stronger. It's been a little, a little tougher to finish finish on shots, I feel like. So hit the weights, maybe they'll change. So between here and, you know, the EWL, February 7th, or March 7th, yeah. you think you got to put on a little weight? Yeah, I'm hopefully put on, you know, five, six, seven more pounds. I've been, I've been waiting out of practice underweight, so I need to, need to pick it up a little bit. Okay, I saw against Pitt, you wrestled a guy that's kind of a bigger, stronger guy in Sullivan. Uh, do you think that when you wrestle those big, strong guys, you got to get a little slicker or something like that? Yeah, I think so. It's something I've been thinking about when I've been watching my film. i, I got to uh, finish a little faster, a little more finesse in them instead of trying to you know, maybe split the middle and you know, roll around with the guys. You know, quick, quick finishes, quick, quick takedowns. All right, what did you say to the ref today? Can you not tell me? <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't say anything to him. Look, he had some stuff to say after the match. Which, he, he's going mean, after your elbow, yeah, going after your knee a little I mean, bit. That's wrestling, but you don't got to talk smack once the, song, uh, once the horn goes. But whatever, you know. Yeah. It's heat of the moment, so. All right, you got anything else for me, Marcus? Uh, that's it. Thanks All right, for, always nice talking to you. Talking and uh, I don't know if people know it or not, but you're kind of quick-witted, and we're going to maybe catch some of that on the bus, whether you know it or not. <laughs> yeah. All right, hey, thanks for the time, brother. Good luck. Yeah.